is the Fabio Show. And now, here is your host, Fabio. Hello, Soul TV. This is Bobby with the Bobby O Show. I have a great guest today. His name is Bill Montgomery, and he's going to tell us about all his projects and things that he's got coming up. So we're going to go over his youth programs. He's got um, some things coming up for Black History Month as well, and the STEM program. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Bill Montgomery. Hello, Bill. How are you today? I'm doing great. Um, that's uh, Bill Montgomery, a.k.a. CSI. All right, so that's Bill. C, that's CSI Bill Montgomery. Correct. Because that's what people know you by, is the CSI. And what was that CSI acronym stands for? It stands for Common Sense Intelligence. All right, we love that. We love Common Sense. That's usually what you're born with. Just use it. It's free for everyone, people. And I, and I got and I got a story. I got a story for that. Let me know when you're ready for it. I'm ready. I'm ready for the story right now. Yeah. So so basically, uh, CSI Bill came from the high school students. Uh, I was teaching in Long Beach uh, and Los Angeles, and um, I used to always talk about, you know, hey, use your common sense. Where's your common sense? And and the kids, you know, every time they would do something, they would. They would forget about something or be on their on their pocket computers, or cell phones. Um, I would say, "Hey, you didn't use your common sense." So, I bought the common sense from Long Beach in, in L.A. And in L.A., these guys got together and said, "Miss Montgomery, you're always saying common sense." So, we got together and we came up with a nickname for you. I said, well, "What is it?" They said, "CSI." I go, what is CSI still? Is that crime scene investigation? Nope. Common sense intelligence. I said, I'll take it. I've been there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I wish I had something cool to put up above my name there. But, you know, I just have to rely on my normal senses. Um, so and going the, into. Well, hang on. You, you want to know something else, Bobby? The, yeah. The, Okay, so, and you said you were born with common sense, okay? So, well, let me tell you what, what happens when you don't, you ever heard when you don't use it, you lose it? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, well, people are losing it because they're not using it. And the reason why they're not using it, because we're not teaching it. Now, now this is what I tell people, okay, as far as teaching, it, okay? You can teach common sense. You wonder how you teach common sense, Bobby? How do you do that? You teach it. If there's 10 questions or answers, eight of them should be no and two yes. And only yes if you do all the ones that, that's no. Now, right now, we've done spoiled everybody. So right now, it's, it's eight yeses. yeses and two no's. And if you say no, they'll kill you. <laughs> right. <laughs> you got that right. So like, there's got to be discipline. Yeah. So, but, but there's a way that you can say no without offending people, without uh, making people mad. It's called consistently, it's called telling the truth, it's mm -hmm. called leading by example, because the adults, we're just as bad, okay? Right. We'll, we'll, we'll tell the kids, hey, get off your phone, but yet we want to use it all day long. Mm -hmm. You see, um, right. and, and, the, and the adults, we have to be willing to say, hey, it's no. No is no. Yes is yes. So if we can't blame the, the, the kids. We, we have to blame our, our, our country, America. And so this is what I learned. Actually, the, the Lord, God gave me this gift. I didn't always know that, Bobby. Mm -hmm. um, I learned this all the years. And um, what really helped me understand is teaching the high school students, mm. you know, asking them certain questions, finding out what they know and what they don't know, um, what they learned, what they didn't learn, uh, you know, where are they getting the, the language, you know, where are they getting these habits? And I'll tell you what, I'm so grateful that I had a chance to, to learn from the high school students because it's unfiltered. They'll tell you exactly what it is, whether you like it or not. 
Mm. So you have to be willing to, to take it, but then come up with something that you can get them to understand that, hey, no is, is not bad. Everybody needs a no, including the one that's asking the questions. Right. No do keeps you, them safe. Do you think like, you know, with, with high school kids, um, sometimes, you know, children need to, sh- to see that someone's gonna tell them no because they feel safer when they're under discipline. You know what I mean? If you just let them go willy nilly, that's an insecure spot to be in as a kid. You know, there's no rules. Correct. You know, so do you find like when you talk to these kids and you, you know, you tell them about boundaries and rules and everything, um, you're doing them a favor actually. You know, because you're teaching them how to function in society, you know, when they get older. So, you know, I, I see rules and um, being accountable as a plus versus you could do whatever you want, you know what I mean? So that seems to be the direction where society wants to, you know, let kids think that they can go that way. But then, you know, they ended up doing something, lands them in jail, or either catching, uh, you know, catching some trouble later on in life. So there yes. definitely have to be some rules in place. Yes, th- that, that's correct. And, and one of the things I'll say, and uh, I'll say you'll thank me later. You know, that's what I say. Mm-hmm. And I, and I kind of say it in a in a joking manner, but but serious at the same time. Yeah, you might not, you know, thank me now, but you, you'll thank me later, and, and and I'm okay with that. But still holding them accountable and kind of making them, you know, understand that, no, I mean, no, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's not a yes, you can't do that. So there, there's a lot of gray area and a lot of, well, well, what do you mean? Uh, why not? So if, if adults and parents, if we, if we say, well, maybe, uh, no, not right now, um, well, the not right now means later they're going to come back and ask, okay, well, can I do it now? You see what I mean? So we, we have to lead in. Oh, I think I think we, we have to explain the no uh, a little bit more because the society, like you said, we, we've, we've come to maybe not want to deal with a, a conflict or a, a difference um, and a lot of this is because of the technology and uh, we can get into that a little bit more as we talk about some of the ways that we can offset or change the culture and the image um, that the hidden pioneers are trying to do so that, that's on a, on a CSI common sense uh, way of teaching uh, our society that's kind of lost away and, and that's why uh, a lot of people don't have common sense as much anymore but we can we can, we can we can get it back we could turn that around right absolutely All well, right. and again let's, let's and again that. bobby with with, with with soul tv you know mm-hmm. i i like what you, what you're saying one of the reasons why i wanted to come on and talk is because you talked about just tell the truth you know and and you're and you're talking about the youth and what what should happen and people that come on to your network and um you know if we just tell the truth it, the truth will set us free so I'm, I'm more than happy to come on and because the knowledge doesn't belong to us anyways it, it really right. comes from god mm-hmm. um so 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 why not take that and share the information um and just you know hold on to it and then it, and it goes away and we're not teaching the next generation which leads me to my my next thing I have to ask you about. You have a youth program called Prime Motivation. Yes, correct. Could you tell us about that? Like, do you teach some of the kids, like some of the, um, you know, some of the, the the ideals that you have about you know how they should function in society? Yes. So so Prime Motivation started in two thousand and four. Okay, started in LA, and it started by a, uh, 
a nice young man named Ed Arguelles. Okay, uh, he's actually the CEO, uh, the founder, and I joined him early on because he was part of the ROP program, Youth Occupational Program, and he was in San Pedro, and they closed down his his shop. He had a shop where he was teaching mobile electronics and how to work on cars and things like that. Mm-hmm. And he got the other. And this is one one of the early stages when they started really closing them down um, in the early '80s. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, no, sorry, not the early '80s. Let me take that back. So, in about the early '90s, uh, they they started closing them down and then here comes uh, 2000 and 2004 so 2001 is when they uh, chop Ed's program and then we got together in 2004 he created prime motivation and we went to 12 high schools uh, in Los Angeles so mm-hmm. that, that was the start of prime motivation in 2004 oh awesome and it's still going Still going 20 years and wow, not only is 20 it going, years. Yes, not only is That's it going, it's getting better, more refined, um, uh, better partners. So, uh, you probably seen you probably seen some some of the early youth in there, they're all grown up now, then absolutely. I mean, and seen a lot. I mean, you've seen fruits of your labor. You know, hey, like you, you changed people's lives. We you know, we went to Snoop. Know. We went to Snoop Doggy Dog School, uh-huh. uh, Jordan High School. We went to Crenshaw. Uh, we went to Poly. Uh, we even we went to Beverly Hills High School. You know, uh, all those sound familiar. To Hollywood you know High School, Van Nuys, yeah. uh, Slauson. We I, I've probably been to about two hundred and forty something high schools over the twenty year span. Wow, that's that's great. That's great that you know that you you know a person could care that much to be that dedicated to do that kind of work. Because you know, I came to the conclusion and it just seems like all this stuff comes to you after you hit fifty, you know. So <laughs> it's like even like even the, the, the fatherless child, you know, that is our responsibility still. You know, to, for the other males in society to raise that child, you know, to teach them how to, how you know, to fill in the gap if if they're missing a parent or something, you know, it's our it's our duty to step it up if you can do it, you know, if you if you're available, if you if you're not available because you have your own kids or whatever, or you don't have time, but you know, it's it's everybody's responsibility to you know help that single mother raise a child to some degree. You know, I try to drop nuggets of knowledge when I see a kid that's struggling with, you know, trying to learn their way through life. And if they don't have a parent that's capable, I try to step in, you know. So I see that coming from you that, you know, you're a caring individual and you, you and this is your heart, you know, I mean, you, you're doing it because you know, it's something that you were were driven to do so that's very commendable and for and you know this program's 20 years there's that's nothing to um you know that's nothing that's easy you know that, uh, that endurance there is really commendable yeah it, it it you know it's gonna it's a lot easier now than before obviously you know because you know, I, I stuck with it um and it's been a journey but uh, a blessed one and, um, you know, I, one of the reasons why I have passion for it, Bobby, is because I got my start really in high school. That, that, that's where I kind of found myself a little bit. Um, you, you're going to go on different journeys and different chapters, but high school definitely is the hardest, okay? Going to so many different high schools, talking to so many different, you know, students, parents, teachers administration everybody uh that that is a very very challenging um stage of the four years 
9, 10, 11, 12, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Um, and so I had some good mentors. Uh, I had sports. Um, so the, the cars, the cool cars, um, everybody likes a cool car, okay? Everybody uh, needs to go from point A to point B with, with transportation. And my dad, he always made sure I had some kind of wheels. Um, and that, as I started getting older, trying to make them go faster, do stuff, okay, well, things start breaking because, you know, as we just can't keep things the same, um, yeah. I, learned to fix them, I learned to fix them myself. Uh -huh. And that's what I continue to do, uh, you know, working with my hands because when, when you have something that something breaks, uh, you, and you don't have the money for it, you might drown. You'll figure out a way to fix it. So, um, one of one of the things that we need to do, Bobby, as a country, mm -hmm. we need to break back transportation and technology lab classes into our high school. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Now I'm saying lab classes because that is the new terminology that we must use. Okay, mm -hmm. the still about 40 50 percent of america is gonna say or remember shop classes or mechanics. that's what i grew up with i grew but up with shop classes that, that's like a rotary phone it's not coming back <laughs> uh, uh -huh. not coming back so mm -hmm. uh, and, and nobody wants to be a mechanic because the parents think that it's a dirty person in the back so yeah the new words that the that god gave me because mm -hmm. you know nobody told me these words bobby mm -hmm. i gotta be honest with you i wish they would have told me earlier because we'd be a lot you know further ahead but but the words that the lord told me is that transportation and technology that's planes trains automobiles rovers drones rockets uh mm -hmm. skateboards you know anything that moves from point a to point b is your feet Okay, um, but it, it's a simple thing, but nobody's explaining it. Nobody's explaining it because we, America, we, we like to separate. It's the boating business, it's the, the, the trains, you know, they, they really don't say transportation. So the new generation that comes out of the, the womb, they, they take the shop classes out of the high school, so nobody's really teaching anything about the, the vehicles and the history yeah. so nobody knows and, mm. and then and then and then people wonder why um you know this this word of transportation and, and technology because everything's technology with it okay mm -hmm. you can work on electric vehicles uh, um the, the days of being under a vehicle are pretty much over okay it's almost like a doctor doing heart surgery. They don't mm -hmm. do the same heart surgery. More people would be dead. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you, we, we have these tools. We have these electronics. Uh, we have these computers. So you could work on a on a on a car wearing a white smock if you know what you're doing. Oh, you see, right. and you can you can be in a nice clean lab class mm -hmm. to work on these vehicles these days. And so, mm -hmm. but but and using a digital multimeter, okay? Mm -hmm. Very few times you're gonna use a, a, a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, okay? Uh, you're, you're now a technician, you're not a mechanic. Mm. And this is what the Hidden Pioneers is, uh, you know, programmed and trained uh, and blessed to be able to do uh, nationwide in, in 2024. The blessing and we're, and we're excited to, to tell people what, what we're doing okay so so i i see uh what your you know your point is like this technology with cars there's a whole side to a car that's the you know the the wires and the um the the, the chips inside the cars now you know that control a lot of things going on in the car so it's a lot more than just getting underneath the car and changing out things yeah you have to reprogram now almost like 
you're a computer technician and a mechanic now. You know, just as you were saying, I, I have a friend who's pretty good at that. You know, he just loves cars. So for him, it comes easy, but it'll come hard for me, you know, because I, you know, I have other interests, but, you know, we need those people that are going to, we need this next crop to be interested and to be able to function um, with computer and mechanic mixed together, the computer technician and a mechanic mixed together, basically. And and um, and then you said that that's some of the things you teach, right? Yes, we're teaching how to be a technician, okay, using a digital multimeter, uh, using Ohm's law um, mm -hmm. as, as an everyday practice, and. Um, we can do it. It can be done. We have the, the ability. We, we have the, uh, the the brains behind it. We just need to get it into the high schools, back into the schools. And, and so, that's so, so what what would you say that you need to get this program back into the high, the high schools? Do you need well, support from the high schools? Yes, absolutely. The public? absolutely. We need the, well, we need the schools, the education uh, departments, to talk to the the government because um, there seems to be a disconnect, Bobby. And mm -hmm. I'm I'm glad I can talk about this openly on on the Soul TV network because a lot of people don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, they just say, oh, well, it's a lack of funding. This is what the schools started telling the parents. Mm -hmm. So if the parents don't notice that they say, okay, well, there's no funding, Bobby. It's not a lack of funding. Okay, they're robbing Peter to pay Paul. Okay. Right. It's the lack of knowledge that they have. Uh, they don't understand it. So therefore, it's easy to just say, okay, well, let's just, there's not enough interest. Um, let, let's get rid of it. Let's bring in uh, the STEM programs. And let's put everybody in the college. Um, mm -hmm. And that's not the answer. Um, mm -hmm. And so what we need to do, we need to go back to the drawing board people, and they have to, have to give time to bring in experts like myself, okay, all the way up to into the government, into the White House, okay. I need to be talking to Pete Buttigieg, okay, who is mm -hmm. the Secretary of Transportation for our country, okay. Mm -hmm. And Pete, I, I, I'm, I'm coming to get you, not get you mean like in a bad way. I'm coming, I'm coming, <laughs> coming to talk to you. Yes, I'm coming to have a professional yeah. conversation to tell you things that I know you don't know about because I've been doing it for 20 years. You, mm. you can't know about it. Um, but I have been trying to reach out, Bobby, and it's like the word, it's like the act of Congress to, to, to get people to just even get back to you. I mean, you would think that it'd be easier, but it's not. So that mm -hmm. system that's in place, that needs to be um, corrected so that people can really get in there. And so basically change the system that's in place now. I see. All right, so um, we basically we need that we need to, as a public, we need to um, we need to get this back into the high. We need to start talking to administration about getting the transportation um, and technology lab classes, transportation and technology classes back into high schools because you know these are. Uh, you know, transportation is not going away. You know what I mean? Like, we need this for our youth, and also, you know, it's got it's going to be a, a um, an industry that's always going to be employable. You know, it's always going to be an employable industry. So, we need to get behind it. You know, so we can get our youth in there as well, so they can have the skills. Because tomorrow's skills are going to be a lot different than they look today. But transportation is one thing that's always going to be needed, you know. And then, as you said, um, you know, things are getting more technical now. So that would be a great program for our youth. And, you know, I'm glad you're there for it. And I hope that somehow you could get in touch with, um, you know, the higher-ups to talk about getting this back in the high schools. But I noticed it myself as I went through school, even the arts, like I was big on on doing artwork and I've seen art programs just 
disappear, you know, one by one. And it was just all writing and arithmetic. And then, you know, shop classes started to suffer. And, you know, so, you know, we have to keep teaching people about everything. When, so when they leave high school, you know, because not everybody's going to have a job where they're sitting behind a desk. There's people that are going to be hands on. And this this is for society in general. Like it's just to make society society function. There's got to be people that do hands on things. So I totally get the point on that one. All right, and then um, I wanted to talk to you too about your global diversity summit. Yes. Could you tell us a little something about that? Of course, I'd be glad to. So it is a global diversity summit, okay? And that means global, um, right out of here in, in Southern Southern California. This is our fourth annual. That means that every year, and the, the, how that came about, Bobby, in the, in the, in the world, um, I'm here to tell you, CSI Bill, uh, my cousin, Catherine Johnson, bless her heart, at 101 years old, she passed away February 24th, 2020, okay? She gave her, her country uh, a lot, you know, her brains, her heart, her passion. Um, in 1969, she did the trajectory and she calculated um, us to go up to the, she was the numbers, uh, she calculated to get us to the moon and back and John Glenn even confirmed it. He didn't want to go up there until she double checked the numbers. So my cousin, Catherine Johnson helped us get to the moon and back safely. And when she passed away, um, the Lord, uh, said, Hey, you need, you need to do something big. You need to leave her legacy. And since I was doing transportation and technology for years. It just it just made a good thing to to do the Global Diversity Summit with transportation and technology, uh, February uh, around the 24th. Now that the 24th has been coming on the weekends uh, for the last four months, either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So. We've been doing the, the Global Diversity Summit for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And from the very beginning, it's been a it's been a success. We've had some of the the top designers, engineers. We've had NASA support, uh, astronauts, expert speakers coming on to, to talk to the world. And uh, the first year, Bobby, we did it through uh, Zoom, the, the same platform we're doing mm -hmm. we're doing here virtual and mm -hmm. um, it was really good and, and i'll make sure i send you uh that program that we have because people still are learning from that and that's that's the beauty of uh this technology you know you you can always have it um mm -hmm. versus you know come in there and not seeing it so this this year coming up is february 23rd which is going to be in diamond bar california at the SEMA headquarters, and SEMA stands for Especially Equipment Manufacturers Association. It's a huge organization that they have a big event in Las Vegas, a big trade convention, um, and it's usually in November. It's the first week in November mm -hmm. every year, and it's been going on for 20 plus years, and I've attended it for 20 plus years. I may have missed one or two, but it's a great organization, and we're happy that they're allowing us to host it at their corporate headquarters in Diamond Bar, California. Oh, wow. Yes, that's Friday, and the hours are from 10 to 2, and from 12 to 1, we're going to do a lunch uh, outing where we're going to have VIP speakers talking about uh, the summit and why it's so important. Um, and we're gonna have some, some VIP guests there, some celebrities, if you will, in the transportation and technology industry. Mm -hmm. And Saturday, the 24th, we're gonna be at the Rialto, California City Hall, right there at the City Hall. Uh, 
and we I want to thank Deborah Robinson, who's the mayor of Rialto. Mm -hmm. And she's opening up that beautiful facility uh, to have the summit there. Same times, 10 to 2, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have some some show cars on display. We're going to have some some NASA uh, literature and information on NASA. If, if people want to find out more about NASA and space, uh, we're going to have uh, Captain Willie Daniels, who is a 40 year airline pilot. Uh, mm -hmm. He's coming out with his book. So there's going to be a book signing. I think his book signing is going to be, I want to say, 11 to 1. You can come by and pick up a book and meet Captain Willie Daniels uh, in in person. And Willie Captain Willie Daniels, uh, he's one of the hidden pioneers, so he's part mm -hmm. of our team, which mm -hmm. is great. He also just recently received a lifetime achievement award from mm -hmm. the president of the United States, Joe Biden. Wow! wow. And that, that was just in November. So we're very happy that Captain Daniels is going to be there in person and he's a dynamic guy and guess what he is teaching young uh african americans how to become an airline pilot wow. just like him because he's been doing it for 40 years so uh mm -hmm. it, 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 and, it, and it's during black history month as you know this month okay mm -hmm. so all the african americans should take advantage of of coming to those locations friday saturday and let me finish up with sunday so Sunday, February 25th, that's going to be held at the Tyler Mall in Riverside, Riverside, California. Right Tyler off the, Mall? Tyler Mall, T-Y-L-E-I Mall, right? It's a, upstairs in the second floor inside the mall okay. at a place called FIATM. That's F-I-A-T-M. And that stands for Family is All That Matters. Okay. That's, that's another great organization that that we partner up with, Hidden Pioneers. We we collaborate with with some of the best companies and, and people uh, in in America. That's what's mm -hmm. all about that word, collaboration. And yes. I can elaborate on that if uh, if anybody want to knows what 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 that collaboration means. With, Their co so, collaboration is a lot of, a lot of value in collaboration a lot of value and that's one of these words that i break it down and, and, and i explain it to people simply like this you know i say you, you like food? food food brings people together cars bring things together but mm -hmm. that collaboration is like potluck okay everybody brings something to the to the kitchen right. table Let's see what we got and, exactly. and, and people eat now now this is the thing bobby these days because we spoil mm -hmm. people now mm -hmm. you have to explain the potluck. You got to break it down, and on paper, you got to make sure that people know. Okay, if you say you're going to bring cups, you bring the cups. Mm -hmm. If you say you're going to bring water, you bring the water. If you say you're going to bring macaroni, you bring the macaroni. Okay, everybody's got to be specific because we like to talk about things now, and nobody brings anything. <laughs> so. And, 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 on, and on top of that, it was like waiting for another person to bring it. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. It, 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 well, because we, we've spoiled people. <clears throat> and again, mm -hmm. that word yes and no is it, it, confusing. Now I'll say, well, maybe um, we'll see. I don't know. You got to be very specific who's bringing what dish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also, Bobby, you got to make sure that everybody knows that, hey, it's not an eat and run kind of thing. Okay, somebody mm -hmm. has to stick around to clean up. Okay, wash those dishes if, if someone's cooking. It ain't just come eat and then and then leave out. So mm -hmm. it, that kind of potluck needs to be explained. And it's just like collaboration. Collaboration. Mm -hmm. Everybody brings something to the table. Okay, before, mm -hmm. during, and after. You got this. You got the media. That someone might have to write a report. You see what I'm saying? The, 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 so these are the things that you have to explain, okay, what it means today. Because if you don't, you you, you start assuming. And when you assume things, here's, here comes trouble. So that's collaboration in, in a nutshell. It's like potluck. Um, and we can have fun with it. And... Uh, 
some people that don't have the the means or, or income, they still can do something. You see what I'm saying? Uh, not everybody's going to bring the steak and potatoes. Mm -hmm. You might just be required to bring a cup, a straw, a fork, or a spoon. So there you go. Potluck, collaboration, very similar. That's the way I explain it. Right. Yeah, you, that's a good analogy um, because, you know, in my personal experience, like, you know, when you ask for something, it'll just show up. So, you know, it won't show up unless your heart was open to collaborate with other people, you know, because, you know, whatever project you're doing, you, you know, you can share it with like-minded people. And it's beneficial for everyone because you know, there's always power in numbers. I, I always say, you know, no, there's no one man show anymore. You, you, know, you just gotta accept help, ask for help, ask God for help, and you know, and things to show up in your life. And then you just gotta have an eye to know when they show up and go ahead and take advantage of that moment. So, so we get it. Um, so how can we learn more about this program? Like, is there a website yes. or, or a number to call or anything like that? Yes. Um, well, first of all, if you want to know more about Prime Motivation, it's primemotivation.com. Okay. And a nice site will, will, will come up to all about our, our tour. Um, and uh, there's got some contact information on there that they can get a hold of on. Now, when it comes to the hidden pioneers, uh, there's a lot of people on social media. So uh, they can just go to Hidden Pioneers uh, Instagram. There's the Hidden Pioneers Facebook. Um, if you if you just Google CSI Bill Montgomery, all kinds of things will come up. Videos. Uh, you'll really get a chance to 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 know me. And the things you know I've been doing, and I, I encourage you to because I'm quite proud of what God has allowed me to do. Uh, there's some funny videos on there, um, but they're they're very educational. They're very basic. I'm very big on the basics: A, B, C, uh, before X, Y, Z. Uh, I'm very big on common sense. Uh, using your brain uh, first, uh, artificial intelligence, which is AI, second, not the other way around. So uh, I'm, I'm a very simple kind of man. I believe in KISS, keep it short and simple. Uh, and I believe in, in, in history, uh, learning the history, learning the culture, um, so that way you can you can add to it, but but keep the culture the way the culture was. That you, we don't necessarily have to change it. And in fact, Bobby, right now we need to go back to the basics, and we need to change the culture and the image. Uh, we we need to bring it back uh, because it, it I think it's kind of gotten away from us, and I yeah. think we're chasing the dollar too much. And we're also we're we're starting to use that artificial intelligence more than our than our human brains yeah I, I i heard someone say the other day well actually i was reading on facebook but they have these these places where you know a guy brags about he wrote a book in 30 seconds using artificial intelligence when it used to take him three or four days and then in the comment section you know people were saying um if you don't use your brain it's going to atrophy so he gave an example, like, he's like, who remembers phone numbers anymore? <laughs> and I right. said, you're right. I remember when I was a kid, I used to remember, like, everybody's phone number. But now that I don't have to, it's kind of you lose that ability. So same thing with, you know, using a computer for everything is those parts of your brain are just going to, you know, the cycle in life is we drop what we don't need anymore. And if it does, if your brain doesn't need to remember numbers, it just says, "Okay, well, I don't need to keep that part of the brain up." But I can see the dangers in overusing artificial intelligence. You know, we can't lose our soul. 
to the uh, computer. You know, we have to use the computer, not let the computer use us. Because after a while, the tables will turn and you know, the computer is going to be telling you what to do. And, you know, like it's going to, I mean, to some degree it does now. Like we wear watch, smart watches and they tell us, oh, you need to run, you need to do more steps and stuff like that. Well, <laughs> well yes. Well, yes. Well, speaking of that, Bobby, you know, we, and, and it wasn't on the, the agenda, if you will, list, but, you know, I, I created something. Again, God, God had me write this um, because it's called a pocket computer. Okay. It's not, it's not even a cell phone. So um, I, I'm doing my R&D, okay, which is research and development. Um, I've found ways to wean people off of the pocket computer, okay? And you, 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 have to, you have to ask the questions and you have to ask some tough questions and you have to be willing to uh, do some of these questions yourself if you want to get other people to do it. Now, I actually got addicted to my pocket computer, okay, for about 10 years. I was always a tech guy. I had a cell phone back in the in the early, you know, years when a lot of people when it was four hundred dollar bill. Yes, <laughs> yes, I, and that was me. Okay, you know, I, I had to have it. Okay, and, yeah. and 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 this one you couldn't even text, but you can call. So, you know, and then and then mm -hmm. I, then I then I worked at a corporation where they're paying my phone bill. Okay, mm. and, and, and you can and I can make personal calls too. Yeah. So again, you you get so used to just talking, you know, and and not really being with people, and and then the computers came. You remember the AOL? Do do do. The dial yeah. up. Okay, Good. and then and then you, and then you could you could chat with people. I forget what was the instant message. It was yeah, basically it was the early days of instant message, yeah. Yes. and it was, it became addictive. Like oh, yeah, you absolutely. Know, you could just chat from one person to the next person. Bobby, I, I found myself arguing on there, fighting, you know, and and you don't know that you're doing it when you're doing it because again, that was AI back then. It really just takes right. your you you think that you're and so all these. You know, all these things happen in my life, and um, the, the Lord just, you know, said, you know, hey, okay, I'm going to use you to, you know, fix this thing or help solve the problems, okay? Um, and he had me write a pocket computer curriculum, and I'm going to send it to you. And this curriculum, uh, the way that he had me write it, Anybody, you could be five years old or you could be a hundred years old using that pocket computer. It's the basics of it. And man, Bobby, when I, every time I, I think about it, uh, I just go, Lord, thank you very much. Now, getting people to, to use it and implement it and bring it into the schools, that's what we need to do. And this Soul TV is is going to help with that because all the people listening if, if let me just put it out there and give people my my uh my email that that way my email is hidden pioneers at gmail.com that's hidden h-i-d-d-e-n p-i-o-n-e-e-r-s at gmail.com uh csi bill and just email me if you want to know more about the pocket computer curriculum or if you want to know things about nasa or stem or or just basic transportation which is movement from point a to point b very simple i know that you have a a child or a husband or a boss or someone that just doesn't seem to understand how simple transportation and technology is, but it really is simple if you just understand the basics of it, but we have to teach it ABCs until XYZ. So Bobby, I hope I'm clear on how to get a hold of me and what my mission is 
we are going to go on tour to the high schools because that's the mm-hmm. most important. And we're going to be going nationwide. Mm-hmm. And we're going to be going with the organization called NHRA, which stands for National Hot Rod Association. And um, our, our plan is to do 100 schools nationwide. Um, we're looking for support, donors, donations, sponsors, uh, especially at the summit that we do every year, because uh, it, it it costs money to to go to them, to go to the school. So if you want to support uh, Hidden Pioneers and Prime Motivation, please reach out. They also can reach out to you, Bobby and Soul TV, because me and you are partners. You're a Hidden Pioneer. and. Right. and and we can we can connect the dots and we can do more to change the culture and the image of our mm-hmm. country right here usa yeah okay. and it starts with us you know if it we does. don't do it who's gonna do it you know thank I mean? you thank it's you easy, easy to point the finger and say well they'll take care of it like you know what let's make sure we take care of it you know what i mean so let's uh, get behind this um you know, because in reality, it is our responsibility, as I said before, like in the beginning of the interview, that it's all our responsibility, you know, because we all have to live with the consequences. I agree. You couldn't have said it any better, Bobby. And again, I just want to, you know, wish everybody, uh, uh, especially African Americans, a uh, happy month of Black History Month. Uh, you know, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., uh, I celebrated a, a nice event with him, uh, with the organiz- organizers of Juneteenth. We had a nice event in uh, Ontario, California. Uh, we had some great speakers. We honored um, someone very special. Again, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and uh, it's Black History Month, and, and it's time for us to come together, collaborate together, and uh, be as great as we know we are. So uh, if, if all of our people are listening out there, it, it's time, okay? Don't wait around, don't procrastinate, collaborate, okay? Let's support each other. And this Soul TV, man, I'm, I'm excited. I just I just found out about it uh, through Rodney Alarippi. Rodney Alarippi is doing some great things. He's working with us as Hidden Pioneers, as you know, Bobby. Mm-hmm. Right. And um, we're just excited. We're, we're, we're on fire about what's to happen because I know that I'm the chosen one from God with all this information and knowledge. And knowledge is power. You're and, right. You know what? It's, it's time. Like, I've always known this since I was a kid that you know, there'll be a time for you. And, then, and this is the time to shine. You know, yes, yes. But we, we were put in place to take care of things that that aren't going to be taken care of for us. So we have to do it. We have to do it. That's Amen. the biggest thing. That's right. It's, a, it's our responsibility. And the, the time is now. Um, and then one more thing I was going to ask you about is your STEM program. Yes. So the, the, the STEM program, and, and let me explain the, the, the STEM, okay, just so everybody understands it. Okay. So STEM, you know, it stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. Okay. Some people put the A in for arts. Okay. Some people put the, the E in, they call it for esteem. Okay. Um, but the, the bottom line is that for the hidden pioneers, uh, STEM is all about transportation and technology. Okay. Movement from point A to point B. We bring arts, we bring music. We bring all that into it, but you but you have to move move your feet first, then you bring everything else in. Now, Bobby, with STEM, uh, President Obama bought STEM into the education program in 2009. A lot of people don't necessarily understand that. Now, his his, his first uh, thought, I'm sure, was to get it into the black and brown communities. Okay. Um, but what happened is just like most presidents, they, they have a a lofty, some lofty goals to come in and they bring something in. But what happens is they get sometimes blindsided. Sometimes something else happens 
and it just kind of falls to the wayside and then somebody else may not pick it up. So STEM really is kind of maybe 50% at best uh, in the black and brown communities because it's not explained correctly what it is, who bought it in, how it works. We've taken out the, the auto shops. This is why we're bringing transportation technology lab classes back in so we can teach our kids how to use a digital multimeter uh, so they can work on drones, robotics, rockets, electric vehicles. It, it, it's very simple if you have the right people that can do it, like the hidden pioneers, and if people can explain it correctly, again, that history, um, they, they don't think they belong. I ask the questions. They think STEM is like Harvard and Yale. That, that, that's not true. Okay, mm -hmm. STEM's for everyone. It's, it's not a, a certain nationality. Um, it's for everyone. So I'll just, and the Hidden Pioneers, we're, we're proving that it's for everyone, and we're more than happy to help each and every one of our people. So uh, that's the STEM program in a nutshell. Uh, there's a lot of dollars out there for it. Um, mm -hmm. You, you, you kind of have to, to know how to write it to get it. Um, but th there's dollars out there for STEM right now for our people, for all the people. So if you want to get educated on STEM, uh, the summit is one way that you can tune in on. And um, just stay connected with Soul TV, Bobby, to get in touch with CSI Bill. I'd be glad to all help right. him. And did you say you have a 5013C as well? Yes, that's the prime right. motivation. Mm -hmm. All right, great. And then what if someone wanted to be a hidden pioneer? What I mean, like, will they get in touch with you? Because you said it's like a big collaboration, right? Yes, yes. Um, they can get in touch with me again, hiddenpioneers at gmail.com. Um, I'm an email kind of guy. I uh, mm -hmm. got to be honest with you, that, that works for me. I kind of use that as a... Uh, like as, as a calendar for me to be honest with you yeah because um, you can remember what what appointments you made and everything yeah, I told yes you that. yes and, and um and again in order to be a hidden pioneer you, you have to know these things first of all you have to know the basics mm -hmm. okay so if you don't know the basics you're not a fit for the hidden pioneer. and the basics is very, very simple okay know your abc's okay you, you have to care about our country, USA, you know, you mm -hmm. have to care about our youth, okay, because of the future. Um, yeah. you, you, you have to be a, a, a good person, uh, not, you, you have to understand the team concept, okay, together everybody achieves more. So that's true. And it doesn't matter what age you are. You, it, it, there's no age limit on Hidden Pioneers. In fact, we have one of the youngest Hidden Pioneers. His name is Jeremiah. Jeremiah, uh, one in five, okay, from, from the scripture, okay? Mm -hmm. He's out of Las Vegas. Uh, and again, all you YouTubers and, 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 and social media people, uh, just look up Jeremiah out of Las Vegas. It, it'll blow you away. He, he, he's very, very basic. And he's a he's an interviewer. He interviews people, and um, he interviews professional uh, football players, specifically the Raiders. He loves the Raiders, yeah. and he, and he's and he's a journalist. He's a journalist because that's what he wants to do. He's very focused, um, and he's got a great mother behind him. Uh, so every, again, people love your parents. Okay, that word love. And and let me just say this, Bobby, before we 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 head out of here. So uh -huh. the word cool, C-O-O-L, mm -hmm. that's Pioneer's flagship word, okay, because we want people to be cool. And what cool means is the C is calm, okay, be calm before the storm, it's stormy out there. Mm -hmm. Or that's the patience you have to have, okay? So C for calm. The next O is obedient. Now, let me explain obedient because people say, oh, obedient, I don't want to be obedient. Well, that's because they don't understand what it is. Okay. Yeah. You, you have to be obedient to each other. Okay. Obedient is really about respect, which is something we're not teaching. So if we're not teaching it, that means a lot of people don't have it. 
-hmm. again, back to explaining what the word means and what it is. So our obedience is of respect and we were obedient to each other. And of course, we're obedient to God because he's the one that allows us to do everything. Okay. Correct. That next O and cool is outstanding. Now, we're supposed to be outstanding, Bobby. Okay. Not just average. So I think right now in our country, I think it's, it's okay to be average. Well, right. I was just talking about that. Yeah, it, it, it's it's that's not acceptable. Okay, um, when when you can be outstanding. Now we know that you have to have mentors. Uh, mm -hmm. Now some people are just natural outstanding, right? Mm -hmm. But you you can you can learn and be taught to be outstanding. I really believe mm -hmm. that. Okay, now you may have to want to do that, but if you hang around outstanding people, for example, hidden pioneers. Okay, we we would love to have people. Uh, mentor some people, but they have to understand what outstanding means, mm -hmm. uh, not just average. Okay, and in that last L in cool, Bobby, I, I know that you know what it is. Okay, because this is this the the strongest word in the Bible. Okay, is loving. Okay? All right, yeah. j j j just love, right? So again, we're not explaining what love is or what it means okay love mm -hmm. your neighbor especially love your parents um we, we we ought to love not hate and um and these are the things so just be cool right we, that cool word and cool. if you're doing something that is not cool hey man just be cool don't do that that's cool, not cool. cool you see what i mean so yeah that's it, it's, cool. it's, it's 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 how you say it not so much what you're saying, but it is how you say it. Mm -hmm. You 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 know, and you gotta be able to explain it what it is when you're saying it. So this is what a hidden pioneer brings to the table, brings to our country, and and the gift is from God. So thank you so much. Um Bobby, if you have any other questions, man, this is CSI Bill uh with Hidden Pioneers uh signing off from Starbucks, Corona, California. And I'm coming right. to see you. I'm coming to see you out in Vegas, Bobby. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna look your 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 guy up here too that you just told me about. Yes, Jeremiah. Uh, yeah, he's probably not that far from from me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm connect you guys, man. So I'm gonna okay, connect, awesome. connect. All right, great. Well, thank you for coming on today, Bill Montgomery. Um, I'm gonna leave all your information in you know in the credits after this show. So I thank you once again. I look forward to talking to you in the future as well. It's a pleasure. My pleasure, everyone. Thank you. God bless. All right. Bye-bye.